Titans here. Uh, three and five Broncos going up against the five and three Titans. Look, the biggest question are we going to see Ryan Tannehill? Uh, they could have used him. Definitely that last game. Uh, Malik Willis getting a lot of heat in this one. The Titans still favored uh, by three in this. Does it make a difference who's starting for you? I mean, you'd like your quarterback to throw more than five passes in a game. I mean, that would help no matter who it is. But uh, they are a tough physical team, the Titans. And, and they responded even without their starting quarterback. That tells you how good of a coach Mike Vrabel is. They're physical. They're going to be physical here. They're getting better on defense. Denver's offense is awful. We know that. They're terrible on offense. Uh, I think this is a great spot for the Titans. They've been on the road two straight weeks. Probably should have been 2-0. Uh, came back 1-1. One and one. I think that whether who, no matter who plays quarterback, it's a lot better if Ryan Tannehill plays quarterback. No matter who plays quarterback, they find a way to win this game. I'll lay the points. I'm with you, Pete. Laying the points here with the Tennessee Titans. I just think, look, the, the stopping the run has been an issue for the Denver Broncos, as well as just putting up points in general. And even though it looks like they started to click, click a couple of weeks ago, I've said it before, I'm just not really sure what the message is when you you know deal away one of your better uh, rush players in Bradley Chubb. So I like the physicality uh, of this Tennessee Titans team, what we saw really on both sides of the football, the defense too, uh, the way they've been able to kind of circle around and rally, uh, not having a guy like Harold Landry off of the edge. But I think there's a number with Tennessee coming back home. They get right. You lay the three points to Tennessee. Recapping those 1 p.m. games we've got coming up this weekend on CBS. Opposite sides, when it comes to two of the three games that you're going to see on Sunday, Pete likes the underdogs to cover with the Jags and the Texans. Brady going with the favorites in that game, but both agree the Titans should easily cover the three at home, regardless if we see Tannehill or Malik Willis. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.